So when we see a pregnancy that has a single shared placenta, and we know that there's the possibility that the mother could develop TTTS, we want to monitor very closely for that during that critical time when we see this develop. So it happens most commonly between about 16 weeks of pregnancy and 24 to 26 weeks. If it hasn't happened by then, it's unlikely to happen later on. So during that trimester, the middle trimester of the pregnancy, we usually do ultrasounds as often as every other week, watching for signs of twin-twin transfusion syndrome, so looking most closely at the amount of fluid around the babies and their growth relative to each other. If we see that the amniotic fluid starts to get discordant or discrepant and one has more and one has less, then we may monitor more closely and start to think about whether we need to do some kind of intervention if the situation looks to be getting very extreme.